good morning everybody i hope everybody's doing great um don't really have a good uh car audio technical video today but i do have something else <laughs> anyway this old uh ship box of mine or jeep cherokee you know i've mentioned in a couple videos this thing's had uh random missing issues Especially when it's cold outside. Uh, like, it, it would just randomly, like, miss. I'd be driving down the road, and it'd be like, like, what the, what the heck? Because it would just, like, come in and go. You know, and... Do, do, do. Some people call it huckabucking or whatever, but it was really random. Uh, when I'd start it in the morning, you could definitely hear it missing. And I've been through everything. You know, I've got lots of mechanic friends. It's like, oh, that's that's a vacuum leak. So I went through and, you know, checked all vacuum. Couldn't find anything. Made sure the intake was nice and tight. Uh, changed the old spark plugs in her. Everything. And yesterday, going to work after doing my morning YouTube, she just got bad. I mean, really bad. Like, it barely wanted to pull itself bad. <clears throat> so, uh, I got to my buddy Keon shop, another mechanic, and we thought it might be the computer I, or the ECM, whatever. I pulled it out, and these Jeep computers are made kind of cool. Uh, it's in a uh, plastic housing under the hood. It's vented. I mean, you know, you can get right right the casing's open <laughs> anyway we pulled it open and the whole board is like encased in this like rubbery stuff i guess keep it waterproof i don't know but it was all cracked and nasty and muddy and uh had a mountain of dirt around it like we had to pry the plug out of the computer but i used to off-road this thing and i've had like water over the hood on it and I mean, I abused this thing at one point. Uh, I would leave it sit all winter at work, everywhere, with all the windows down. Like, there there was a good six-month period I never rolled the windows up on this thing. If it started raining, I'd run out and put a trash bag over this driver's seat. Because, <laughs> you know, it was my mud play toy. But anyway, uh, thought the computer looked bad. Took a chance. Found a computer. You can't find a new computer. Like You literally had to order one and it's two weeks out. <clears throat> and I went to my local pick and pull and someone had already got all the computers out of every Jeep there. But I wound up like going through and through people, whatever. You know, I found one. This is a 94. Computer I found was dated for a 91. <clears throat> I slapped it in here. This bad boy fired right up. Perfect. So... After driving, I'm like, damn, it's never really ran this good. So, yeah, I'm thinking it was the computer. Just getting bad and bad and bad, and finally it went. <clears throat> I think it's odd that a 94 computer just fit right in. I mean, it's a 94. I'm surprised the 91 computer just fit in and fired right up. But not really because my transmission shift control module behind the dash I got it out of a 92, and it works perfect. So, I'm just glad I got all this solved. Um, do I think it's the high voltage in here that finally took it out? I don't know, man. The computer looked really bad to come out of here. I mean, I do charge at 16 volts. I have for three years. Uh, and I don't really think that's the issue. Because it just started doing it like a few months back. And after we pulled the computer apart and literally like looked at it, I, you know, I mean, it's almost 30 years old, 28 years old to be exact. I think it just finally gave up, uh, from all the corrosion in there, like from all the mud and water and everything that I exposed it to when I off-roaded this thing. But though Jeep's running better than it ever has, I'm really happy with it. Um, so there's that. I still don't know if I'm going to make it to uh, the TD8 show. At this point, I have two vehicles and neither one are ready to go. <clears throat> um, 
we we have the baby subs in here still and honestly i've been focusing on the blazer and i ain't really felt like changing them um the blazer sitting without subs so there's that uh man it's gonna be a toss-up i'd like to be able to make it to tdh but i don't know which vehicle would go um as i said uh neither one's ready and i have three out of four subs for the blazer and the thing is you know i discussed in one of my videos the other day whatever i put in the blazer we really need to baby the subs and get them nice and loosened up and i'm putting synergy wfo 15s in it them subs look beast and the thing is, they do have the cotton style spider. I'm a fan of a cotton spider. Um, the Pride Audios have a cotton spider and they've done great. But whatever, you know, when I put them subs in, it's definitely going to need a break in period. They need broken in slowly and the spiders loosened up properly. So I don't know if I would actually have time to get that done before the TV8 show. This, those need swapped out and uh, a little bit of rewiring done in here. I, I don't know. Like I said, it's a toss up right now. Um, I'm trying, but it's in like two weeks, I think. So it's going to be iffy. Definitely iffy. But I will give better updates the closer I get to that. Uh, it's just everything come down to a time crunch. That's the early show in the year for real. I mean, God, I wish it was in like April. That would be so much better. But we're going to see. I mean, the original plan was hopefully to take one or both vehicles. And at, at the point we're at, uh, and the gas prices now, I mean, they keep going up. And they just the news keeps saying they're going to keep rising. And man, I don't even know if I'd be able to take both vehicles. I mean, I drive they, they two old shit boxes, you know, and they don't get that great of gas mileage, especially with all of this stuff in there. Um, it'd be nice to take both, but I don't know. I'd really, I'm fo more focused on taking the Blazer because it gets better gas mileage than this thing. And I mean, that's where I'm at, you know, it's kind of iffy driving six hours in a uh, old vehicle, but my buddy Dave does it. He's got an old van that he drives from like Virginia to Florida all the time. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's all. I just wanted to do a quick update that I found the issue with the Jeep that was causing that dead miss. And I'm pretty excited about that uh, because it was driving me crazy. And I tried everything that, you know, is common that you would think of. And come to find out it's the dang computer. But I'm happy with it. I just wanted to share this morning. I hope everybody has a great day. Peace on. Yeah, I just screwed that up. <laughs> I'm not even going to do the peace out and base on this morning. I'm not going to do it. Ah, I'm going to do it. Peace out and base on.